Well, hi there. My name is Noreen Smith and I'm a Creative Memories Advisor from Calgary, Alberta, Canada. And I'm thrilled to be here today with you to share a couple of ideas on how to make a very simple layout, but then take it that few steps further to create a simply fabulous layout. Now to make the layout, we're going to be using just two pieces of paper and I'm going to be using two pieces of the double-sided pattern paper from the Boho Escape Collection. I love these because of course it gives you four patterns to work with with just the two pieces of paper. Then we're gonna make the embellishing and titles really easy. We're going to be using the Boho Escape stickers. And then the only other thing that we're going to be needing is um, our new border punch, the Mirrored Triangles Border Maker cartridge. And of course we'll use that with the original border maker system. This first layout is so easy that you don't even need your 12 inch trimmer. It's going to actually have space for five photos and we're gonna make it together in about five minutes. Okay, so let's get started. So first you're gonna to wanna to decide which is going to be your base paper and which is going to be the paper that you will use uh, kind of as your accent. So for now, I'm gonna use this as my base paper. My predominant pattern is going to be this multi-leaf pattern, and then I'm going to use the back side of that paper as my accent. So to get started and create this layout, we're going to be punching two borders. I'm going to slide in my paper and insert my mirrored triangles border maker cartridge into the punch mechanism and go ahead and punch the entire length of the paper. So there's one border. And now we're gonna take the paper out and turn it so that the shorter side is the one that we're gonna punch next. So it's going to be a little bit shorter than the guy, but we'll just line it up and punch that entire length. So now after punching our two lengths of border strips, we have everything that we need for this particular layout. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this uh, large square, which is not quite 11 inches square. We're going to just nestle that down in the corner. You can decide which side you want down. We're going to flip our border strips over and place one along that side and one along this side. And that's basically our layout base completed. Now we're gonna have room for five photos on this layout. I'm gonna place three, three by three photos on this side and two six by fours along here. And you can arrange those however you like. I always like to, uh, when I'm designing, use scraps of cardstock and just cut them to the standard size of photos and then that way I can play around. So all that's left for me to do really is to choose my uh, title. Uh, maybe I would do something like dreaming of summer days that last forever. I can put that right in the center or maybe tropical state of mind or even something like this is the life. It's really going to depend on whatever uh, your photos are and whatever title in the sticker pack works for you, okay? So here is pretty much our first very quick and very simple layout. So I've taken all of the pieces that we used for our simple layout apart. I've got the large square that measures not quite 11 inches, our two border strips, and then all of the little paper templates that I was using to show the photo placement. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna reuse these particular pieces, but we're also going to add in our 12 inch trimmer and the beautiful boho escaped foiled embellishment. So we're going to just set aside the borders, the photos, and the not quite 11 inch square. We're going to turn our attention to the base page. What we really want to do is we're going to take advantage of the beautiful pink on the back side of this paper and we're going to add that color into the mix. So what we're going to do is we're going to gut 
a square from the center of the base page so that we can use that extra paper to mat our photos. And gutting or cutting a, a, a hole, so to speak, inside your base page is really easy because we're going to be using this little white line on the side of the blade housing as our guide. So we're going to cut it at one and a quarter inches. So we're going to just line up one edge of our base page with one and a quarter inches. Okay, and then we're just going to go just below the one here and cut down. I'm going to take our paper out, turn it, again just placing it at one and a quarter inch, starting where our previous cut was, again just under the one here, and going to just above the 11. Remember that our, um, our square here is not quite 11 inches, so we want to make sure that we have a big enough background uh, that that square will cover it. So again, just under the one, just above the 11, and our last cut, again, lining the edge of the paper at one and a quarter, and finishing off our cut. Okay, so you can see that the 12 inch trimmer does a beautiful job of that. And now we're going to set aside our square, our square frame, and we're going to use this side to cut some photo mats. Now, if you remember, we had two four by six photos and three three by three inch photos. So we're gonna go ahead and cut two four and a quarter by six and a quarter inch photo mats from this particular paper, as well as three three and a quarter by three and a quarter inch squares. So there's six and a quarter, four and a quarter, and another four and a quarter here. And then we need three and a quarter, times three. And we can go ahead and just quickly place our photos onto the mats. So I have my photos matted there. So let's go ahead and uh, add this all back together. Now we're going to be using the open square as our base. And that means we're just going to place our adhesive just around the edges of the not quite 11 inch square and this time we're going to center it in our previous simple layout we had it down in the corner here but we're just going to center it now and we're going to do something a little bit different with our um, with our borders so you can see now that the addition of that extra color from the back side of our base page really adds a pretty um, element to our page, okay? So now we're gonna take our border strips and instead of having them go down the side of the layout, we're going to kind of use them to divide up our photos and then I just trim off this one. So then I have lots of interest here. Uh, again, you could turn them over, you could use the um, back side of this square and then use the uh, other opposite side of this one. So it's totally up to you. You have a, to a bunch of different choices here. But that's basically going to be our Simply Fabulous layout. We're gonna take the same title if we like or do something a little bit different. But now we can also add some of the gems, maybe even one of these little um, beach towels. We could add a tab down here. And then we've got lots and lots of uh, additional embellishments to choose from. Beautiful mandalas, extra leaves. These are pretty too. So you could even add a much, uh, much more detail to your title. 
okay? So I hope you give that a try, basically using the same two pieces of paper uh, to create a simple and a Simply Fabulous page. Thanks very much for joining me today. We'll see you again soon. Bye-bye for now.